what's up, hello, my name is Emma, and today I'm going to give you guys my haul from Book Expo 2017. This past week I attended BEA, which is now just referred to as Book Expo and BookCon, and it was such an amazing experience. I have so many videos coming for you guys really, really soon from this really fantastic week that I can't wait to share with you guys. But I did get a ton of upcoming releases and advanced reader copies that I am super excited to share with you guys. Now going into BEA 2017, and I'm going to keep calling it BEA because it's what I've always known it as. I was not planning on bringing home a ton of books because I brought home like 17 books from last year. It was like, that's too much. But uh, that didn't work out and I have about 21 books from this past book expo to share with you guys. So the first book coming out on July 25th is Daughter of the Burning City by Amanda Foodie. I've actually met Amanda a few times and she is so unbelievably sweet so I'm super excited to have her new book. I did get to have my book signed to BA and it says, Emma, welcome to the Festival of Burning Desires and it's signed by Amanda Foodie. Daughter of the Burning City essentially follows a 16 year old named Serena who is a part of this big traveling circus where she is essentially an illusionist that creates illusions for the audience to touch and feel and it sounds like a super awesome circus themed book that I'm really excited for. So illusions are just illusions, they're not real until one of them is murdered. So this book follows Serena, she's trying to track down the killer who continues to kill her illusions and it just sparks this whole big political romantic mess that I'm really really excited for. The next book also comes out on July 25th and this is actually gifted to me at BookCon from a viewer who I believe is Willa, so thank you so much for giving me a copy of Everything All at Once by Katerina Lino. This is actually a book that I talked about in my mental health fiction releases for 2017 video. It follows a girl named Lottie who has anxiety and her Aunt Helen, who is a successful author, suddenly dies and so Lottie starts to kind of wonder is her own ex unexpected death around the corner. So Lottie's Aunt Helen has left her with one last project which is a series of letters that really push Lottie out of her comfort zone and it's all about Lottie coming to terms with her anxiety and really just starting to live her life to the fullest and I'm really really excited for this book so thank you so much Willa for giving me a copy of it because I didn't have one before and I'm super excited for this release. So the next book is another mental health release that comes out in August and that is Little and Lion by Brandy Colbert. Little and Lion follows a girl named Suzette who has recently come home from a boarding school she was learning at in England when she finds out her brother has been recently diagnosed with bipolar disorder. So the story starts to take a turn when Suzette ends up falling in love with the girl that her brother is also in love with which causes his disorder to kind of spiral out of control and it's all about Suzette coming to terms with her new life as well as trying to help her brother through this difficult time. We are now moving into books that are going to be released this September and I am super excited to share this one because it was my most anticipated release of the year thus far and I cannot believe I was lucky enough to snag a copy but that is They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. I'm sure y'all have heard me talk about this book because I've been raving about it for a super super long time. TV date hits shelves on September 5th of 2017 and it is all about this near futuristic world where on the day you're going to die you will receive a call from a company called Deathcast that will let you know that you're going to die within the day and you know it's basically just like kind of an alert to let you know that you're gonna die, set your affairs in order, get everything out that you really ever wanted to. So because the world has evolved with this new information that we have access to, there is an app called the Last Friend app where people are able to interact on their end day to kind of get get out their bucket list, to cross off everything they need, or to just talk with people that are going through the same thing as them. So the story follows two boys named Rivas and Mateo who meet on the last friend app on their respective end days. And I cannot tell you how excited I am for this book. It sounds like it's gonna be amazing. Please, please, please pick it up. I cannot wait for it. <laughs> now for BEA, I really did my best to only pick up books that I knew I wanted, that I knew I was going to read. But this was actually the first book I got and I picked it up just because I looked at the back and it looked really interesting. And that is Girl Made of Snow and Glass by Melissa. Bashardos. This also comes out on September 5th and the reason I picked it up is because on the back it says the bloody chamber meets frozen in this fantasy feminist fairy tale and I was just sold. Girl Made of Snow and Glass is a fantasy novel that follows a girl named Mina whose mother has recently passed away and her father is some vicious evil figure so her current goal is to marry the king and become queen of the land. So we also have a second protagonist in this novel whose name is Lynette and I believe she is actually the stepdaughter of Mina. So Lynette finds out that the reason she looks so much like her biological mother is that a magician created her out of snow in her mother's image. Lynette becomes the queen of the kingdom and Mina starts to hate her and so it's all about the interaction between these two and it sounds like a really fascinating novel. I feel like I don't have the best grasp on the plot but it definitely sounds super intriguing and like a fantasy I would really enjoy. Another book coming out on September 5th is Genuine Fraud by E. Lockhart. This was another signing I attended at BEA and it was really nice to meet E. Lockhart because I loved We Were Liars so I'm super excited to have their 
their new book. I feel like this is a synopsis I have to actually read to you because it's written in such a way that I think is the best way to sell this book. Imogen is a runaway heiress, an orphan, a cook, and a cheat. Jewel is a fighter, a social chameleon, and an athlete. An intense friendship, a disappearance, a murder, or maybe two, a bad romance, or maybe three. Blunt objects, disguises, blood, and chocolate. The American dream, superheroes, spies, and villains. A girl who refuses to give people what they want from her. A girl who refuses to be the person she was. I'm assuming this is going the normal E. Lockhart route where you're not really supposed to know a concrete plot going into the story. Those are the kind of vibes I'm getting from it, but E. Lockhart is a fantastic author and I'm super excited for her new book. The next book on this list is actually a middle grade and is from a beloved author of mine and that is The Dreadful Tale of Prosper Redding by Alexander Bracken. So her main character's name is Prosper and he finds out that his great 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 great-grandfather has made a deal with a demon and then broke it. So now hundreds of years later, this is coming to haunt Prosper. So Prosper is determined to banish this demon called Alaster from within him and he only has a few days to break the curse. So he employs his long lost uncle and their daughter to rid himself of this demon. The way the synopsis is written makes it sound very whimsical but it feels like they also have a lot of dark themes going on in it. It sounds like a super intriguing novel that I'm really excited to read come this September. The next book for my BEA haul is also a middle grade and that is Clicked by Tamara Ireland Stone. Tamara Ireland Stone is the author of a book I love to talk about called Every Last Word so it was such a surprise to be able to see her and get my book signed and get this new release I didn't even know she had coming out. So this book is about a girl named Allie who has recently attended a camp for coder girls and she's created this app called Clicked which essentially sets two people up on a scavenger hunt to find each other and it ends up being a huge hit. Allie is taking this app to a coding competition that she's really excited for because this app has gone viral but she finds a glitch that really threatens to expose all the participants secrets that she is rushing to fix. I always love books that have to do with tech savvy people whether it be hackers or coders and it just sounds like an all around really fun read that I'm super excited for. The next book I believe comes out on September 12th and it is one I have been hearing nothing but hype for and that is Warcross by Marie Lu. So you know how I just said I love books about coding and hacking? Well Warcross follows a girl named Amika who is a hacker and is all about this game called Warcross which is like this international sensation. In the hopes of making some extra money Amika ends up hacking into the International Warcross Championship and accidentally becomes part of the game. In the midst of all of her success Amika is contacted by the creator of Warcross itself in order to become an undercover spy to to cover up a security problem which ends up having a lot of consequences on her part. I have heard nothing but great things about Warcross. I hear there is a ton of rep for people of color like I believe the main character of the story is Japanese and I believe there are some relationships between people of the LGBT community. I don't know specifics but I'm really really excited for it and it's definitely a book I'm super anticipating reading very very soon. You Bring the Distant Near by Mitali Perkins also comes out on September 12th and this was gifted to me by Fierce Reed in addition to a few other arcs that I'm going to be showing you guys. So this book follows two Bengali protagonists who move from living in England for all of their life to Queens, New York. So I believe this is a very family-centric book. It talks about the making the decisions of what Bengali traditions to uphold. It talks about forbidden love and it definitely sounds like a super interesting novel that I didn't even know about before. The next book on this list comes out on September 19th and I'm really really excited for it which is released by Patrick Ness. This book was actually already released in England I believe. My friend Kaylee from Kaylee Hyde recently read it and she absolutely loved it but it isn't coming out in America until September 19th. So release definitely sounds like an interesting novel. It essentially follows a main character named Adam who has a lot going on in his life. It talks about how he has a super religious family, some issues he has with his boss, as well as getting over his recent ex-boyfriend named Enzo while also dealing with his new boyfriend named Linus. So it seems like Adam is going through a lot of chaos in his life right now which isn't made any better when a ghost apparently rises from the lake in town. I cannot pretend to predict what route this book is going to go in, but I recently read from Patrick Ness. I really loved him as an author and I can't wait for his newest release. This next book is another one from Fierce Reads and that is Moxie by Jennifer Matthew. The first line on the back is an unlikely teenager starts a feminist revolution in a small town Texas high school which I'm already really excited for. So this book follows a girl named Vivian who after witnessing some sexist incidents at her school starts a feminist zine for her and her classmates which is essentially like an art magazine. Viv kind of uses it just as an outlet for everything she's seen going on but it does spark a revolution in her school which it sounds like a really fantastic novel. It seems like a super empowering novel for women which is not something I see a lot in Y8 so it's definitely something that I'm interested to read. The next book on here comes out on September 12th and it is a sequel that I don't actually have the first book in the series of but nonetheless I'm really excited to read it and 
that is Shadow House Fall, the sequel to Shadow Shaper by Daniel Jose Older. Now I don't know much about the Shadow Shaper series, but I do know it is constantly referred to as the Mortal Instruments with Caribbean main characters. It's about this girl named Sierra who ends up finding out that she is a part of this supernatural order called the Shadow Shapers. So not only is this a big transition for Sierra in itself, she finds out that this man called Dr. Jonathan Wick wants to become like the ultimate Shadow Shaper and ends up killing off the Shadow Shapers one by one. So it is up to Sierra and her friends and there is some influence of graffiti and street art that has some power that they are going to use to hopefully defeat this guy in the first book. So I don't know much about the sequel, but I'm really excited to start the series and getting this arc has really pushed me to. So the next book is another one from that Fierce Reads book bundle that I got and that is Spinning by Tilly Walden, which is actually a graphic novel which I don't own a lot of. It's got a lot of cool art in it, which I'm really excited for. So this book follows a girl who has been a figure skater for most of her life and the rink is really all she's ever known, but she switches schools, she gets more involved with art, she ends up falling for a girl and it just sounds like this really awesome coming of age story that also involves a girl who is coming out for the first time and it seems like a lot of really interesting themes for a graphic novel something that is totally in my interest like I don't know if a lot of you know about my obsession with Disney Channel original movies but I still watch Go Figure on the rag and I've always loved figure skating which is not a hobby we see a lot of in YA so I'm definitely excited for this novel the next book on this haul comes out September 19th obviously we got a lot of September releases this BA but it is a a sequel to a story I really enjoyed at the beginning of the year and that sequel is Hunting Prince Dracula the sequel to Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. I got to meet Carrie Maniscalco at her signing to receive this arc and really cool fun fact if you participate in the Biennial Bibliothon which is my readathon coming up very soon so the link to our channel and all of our challenges will be linked below but the past winter Biennial Bibliothon our group book that we all read together was Stalking Jack the Ripper and Carrie Maniscalco told me that she actually tuned into our live show and that's why it looks familiar so really freaking cool. If you haven't really heard about the series, Shocking Jack the Ripper came out last year and is about a girl named Audrey Rose who during the Victorian era, Jack the Ripper is at large and she ends up trying to find out who it is. Shocking Jack the Ripper wasn't my favorite book in the entire world. I gave it like three and a half stars but I really liked the concept of it so when we have a book about these same characters now hunting Prince Dracula in Romania, I was so down. I'm really excited for the sequel. I know Sasha from Book Utopia loved Shocking Jack the Ripper and she's loving hunting Prince Dracula so I cannot wait to read it. So the next book on my BEA haul coming out this September is There is Someone Inside of Your House by Stephanie Perkins. I really enjoyed Stephanie Perkins and, and the French Kiss series. They were just really cute contemporary stories but this is a YA horror thriller which is so up my alley and I cannot wait for it. There's Someone Inside Your House follows a main character named Makani who has recently moved from Hawaii to Nebraska and she's still adjusting to her life there with her grandmother. One by one students of her new school are being killed off in gruesome murders and this really makes Makani have to confront some of her old dark secrets. But it sounds fabulous. I'm always looking for more YA horror thriller stories and I cannot wait to read this one. Fun fact, at BEA I literally got sat on for this arc. They were like all in a circle on the floor. First thing in the morning everyone's rushing in trying to grab books which is not normally how arc drops are given out. But I literally bent down to reach it and someone sat on me. But it was totally worth it because now I have it. <laughs> so the final book in that Fierce Reads book bundle is Wild Beauty by Anna Marie McClure. At the event I attended where Macmillan kindly gave out all of these awesome books I was actually able to speak to Anna Marie for a bit and she's a total sweetheart. So Wild Beauty is essentially about a girl who comes from a family that is somewhat kind of cursed where if they fall too in love with a person that person disappears. Our main character's name is Estrella and one day she finds a mysterious boy that turns up on the lawn that her family tends to but the thing is about this boy that he doesn't know his name where he comes from nothing about it so it's a mystery to Estrella's family as well as himself. It seems like a super interesting story that's going to uncover a lot of family secrets and really delve into those family dynamics that I love being highlighted in YA. I have also heard really great reviews of Wild Beauty so it definitely seems like a very cool novel. Next book on this haul also comes out in September and that is Invictus by Ryan Grodden. I also got to meet Ryan Grodden at BEA and while I have not read anything of her works she is a really really cool person and I'm definitely more motivated to start the Blood for Blood series which all of my friends have loved. Invictus is a science fiction space time traveling novel that follows a main character named Gaius. After failing his time traveling exam Gaius takes up a position on a cruise ship that is involved in this black market operation to steal valuables from the past. So this time traveling ship with guys on it has traveled none other to the sinking of the Titanic.
Titanic to perform a heist, but Gaius meets a mysterious girl who seems to be one step ahead of him and always has knowledge that he doesn't think that she should, which leads him to question pretty much everything he's ever known. It sounds super freaking cool. I haven't read a sci-fi novel in such a long time, and this is definitely one I think I'm going to be picking up very, very soon just because it seems totally up my alley. Speaking of sci-fi novels at this book expo, I also received 27 Hours by Tristina Wright, which comes out on October 3rd. I also got the opportunity to meet Tristina at her signing, and she is just so lovely, and I cannot wait to read this book. So this book has about four main characters. The first is Rumor, who has spent all of his life training to kill hellhounds, and a boy named Jude, who has special abilities that he doesn't really want, but he also desires for humans to stop killing monsters. And apparently the two of these fall for each other with all of these differences between their lifestyles. Another one of her main characters' name is Nyx, who is able to speak to the moon and is secretly in love with her best friend Dahlia. So this book spans across one 27 hour day and is all about these four runaways trying to stop a war from happening between the colonies and the monsters and I have heard nothing but hype about this book. There is a ton of rep for characters from the LGBT community as well as characters of color. I am just super excited for this book. It is so diverse and I have heard nothing but great things so I really cannot wait to read it and I'm super happy I got an arc of it at BEI. Finally we are moving into October releases and the first on this list comes out on October 10th which is All the Cricket Saints by Maggie Steve Otter. I am not totally finished with the Raven Cycle series. I did start it and I enjoyed it but it's not my favorite in the world so I'm hoping that I can find a different Maggie Steve Otter book that I can really love so maybe it'll be All the Crooked Saints. So this book takes place in a fictional town in Colorado of 1962 called Bicho Raro. In Bicho Raro we follow the story of family who have the ability to create miracles. I don't know much else about it but I've heard so much hype for this book because it is of course Maggie Steve Otter. I'm definitely interested to give it a shot and to hear more about what the community thinks of this novel but nonetheless I know it's a very anticipated release for most people and I hope I enjoy it. The next book was one of my top to get novels for BEA and that is Dear Martin by Nick Stone. So this book is an own voice novel as it follows a black main character named Justice who is set for the Ivy League and has tons of aspirations, but he has a lot of trouble adjusting to his new school and new neighborhood. Justice starts a journal addressed to Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. in order to hopefully find answers for his new life. Justice and his friend Manny are driving one night when they are caught in a confrontation with an off-duty cop. Shots are fired, Manny and Justice are caught in the crosshairs, and in the media fallout, Justice is the one who is being blamed and under attack. So this is a debut novel I believe is also inspired by the Black Lives Matter movement and it really tackles the topics of police brutality as well as American race relations. Sounds like a fantastic novel and I cannot wait to read and I hope you guys really pick it up this October. So this next book comes out in November and I was not expecting this book to be at BEA, let alone for me to snag a copy of it, but that is Witch Rude by Tahara Mafi. I've heard that this is kind of like a companion novel to Tahara's previous release, Furthermore, which would has been sold to me for a year now as a story about a Persian girl who washes dead bodies for a living which sounds so interesting. And that's essentially what it is. Our main character, Laylee, has recently lost her mother and does not have a good relationship with her father as a result of it. And all she does all day is wash dead bodies to prepare them for the afterlight. And she kind of tries to lose herself in her grief. The synopsis describes a pair of familiar strangers that appear one day, which I'm kind of predicting might have something to do with the plot or furthermore. But it allows Laylee to rediscover love and magic and friendship. And it sounds like a really fantastic novel. So that is really it for 2017 releases. So we're moving into a few coming up in 2018. The first being The Cruel Prince by Holly Black, which is going to release on January 3rd of 2018. I got to meet Holly Black for the second time at this VA, and she is just so adorable and wonderful and funny as always, so I cannot wait for her new book. So The Cruel Prince follows a girl named Jude who has lived in this world kind of surrounding by fairies for all of her life, but at age seven, she and her two sisters are stolen away as her parents are murdered to live in the high court of fairy. So despite what I imagine would have been a very traumatizing experience, Jude wants to live in the High Court of Fairies. She wants a place there, but unfortunately, the Fae despise humans, especially Prince Cardan, who is the youngest and wickedest son of the High King. In order for Jude to win her place in the court as a mortal, she must defy the prince, which leads to a lot of consequences of violence and civil war, and it just sounds like an epic fantasy novel. This next book comes out on January 16th, and I am super, super excited for it. Of course, it is Zenith by Sasha Alsberg and and Lindsay Cummings. I actually got Sasha and Lindsay to sign it, which I'm really, really happy for, so thank you to both of you for getting this in my hands. I am so proud of Sasha and Lindsay for getting this beast of a book published, and I cannot wait to read the final version. If you have not heard of Zenith, it is a sci-fi novel about space pirates, the leader of the Marauder starship being Andrama, known as the Bloody Baroness. The all-girls crew is currently on a mission when a bounty hunter from Andy's past comes out to threaten them. And if that wasn't 
enough on their plate, Andy and her crew must embark on a journey to stop the ruler of a planet before it tears the galaxy in two. I am so excited for this book. I cannot wait to read it, and I know so many of you guys are excited for it as well, so I hope to enjoy it myself, and I hope you guys enjoy it as well. Another book coming out in January of 2018 that I got at PEA is Before I Let Go by Marika Nitschkamp. I recently read This Is Where It Ends, and I definitely enjoyed the book, so it was such a pleasure being able to speak to Marika and get her newest novel. So our main character, Corey, is originally from a town in Alaska, and as she is returning home, she finds out that her best friend, Kira, has recently died. Corey's hometown doesn't really have the expected reaction to the death of one of their members. They're saying that her passing was meant to be, and they're kind of shunning Corey away as a stranger. So it is all about Corey uncovering the truth about her best friend death and why the town is reacting in this way and it definitely sounds like a very emotional novel that I'm excited to read. And so the final book on my BA 2017 book haul comes out this February and it is The Bells by Danielle Clayton which is another one that has been super super hyped and I cannot wait to read it. This book has been sold to me as kind of the ugly series with a black main character as it is an own voices novel and although I have not read uglies I've definitely been intrigued by it. So this book follows a girl named Camilla who is a bell. Bells are revered for being the most beautiful and talented and while a lot of people in this world are born gray and damned, the bells are the only way that they can become beautiful. Camilla really wants to be like the number one bell, so as Camilla and the rest of the bells have entered the Imperial Palace to become the Queen's favorite, they find out that their powers have really kind of been a lie and they're much more dangerous than they could have imagined. I am super excited for this book. I have heard really, really great things. It sounds like it's going to be a super fun fantasy read and I cannot wait for it. So that is really it for my BEA 2017 book haul. I have gotten so many fantastic fantastic books that I cannot wait to dive in and read. But I did get a few other fun things at the convention that I figured you guys would like to see. I did get two chapter samplers at BEA. The first is Language of Thorns by Lee Bardugo, which is essentially the kind of fairy tales of the Grisha world that I've heard nothing but good things about. And the other is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, the illustrated edition that inside just generally has some of the beautiful, beautiful artwork that I cannot wait for at the end of this year. In that Fierce Reads book bundle, I did get some nail polishes inspired by the lovely Reckless by Cami Garcia that I'm really excited for. It also came with this fierce red tote that on the front says my favorite author said to me and you can fill in different things. That's really really cool. The next tote was actually gifted to me by Kat from Gittytastic because I did not bring my totes one day and I obviously needed them to bring books but it is from Harlequin Teen and it says certified book nerd and it is definitely the heaviest and most sturdy book tote I've ever gotten and it was a lifesaver at BEA. I also got a really wonderful goodie bag from Out of Print which is a company that I love and was so excited to work with this past BEA, which came in their library card tote. They gave me this library card printed sweatshirt, this library card printed t-shirt, their band book pouch, this blue library card scarf, they also gave me two pairs of socks. One is their classic library card sock as well as the same band book themed sock. And the final item in this awesome goodie bag that I'm so grateful for is a heat reactive mug. So when you just take the mug out of the cabinet and doesn't have anything inside of it, it has a bunch of book titles that are crossed out. But once you put your favorite coffee, tea, or hot drink inside of it, the black dots disappear and it reveals all of the book titles. Out of Print recently hosted a really awesome giveaway that I hope some of you were able to take advantage of on my Instagram. But they sent me all of these really awesome things. I had a pleasure talking to some of the people involved in Out of Print. And I really, really love their company. I will link them below and I'd really recommend checking out some of their high quality book related items. I did find one more chapter sampler in my pile that I was missing before but it is for Renegades by Marissa Meyer which is another release I'm super super excited for. When I got to see Tamara Ireland Stone she gave me this really awesome clicked themed keychain that has a puzzle piece on it. At the locker signing I was gifted a bookmark. On the front it is themed by the We Were Liars Deluxe Edition and on the back it is about Genuine Fraud which is the book that I got at the signing. When I got the Language of Thorns chapter sampler they also had a ton of different buttons inspired by the Grisha trilogy that you could choose from so mine says monster and the last few items I received are of course shadow hunters related so the first item I got was this beautiful Lord of Shadows inspired poster that depicts the wild hunt scene and it looks like this and it is absolutely gorgeous and I could not believe how beautiful it is I also got some rune related pins so it depicts some of the classic pins like the angelic rune but it also has some of the new ones that are on the inside cover of Lord of Shadows like the Heavenly Fire rune or else the Antidote rune. And so the final item of my mini Shadowhunters haul honestly gives that beautiful Wild Hunt poster and run for its money and they are postcards inspired by the characters of Lord of Shadows. They just have such a beautiful artwork on them and they have little postcard writing areas on the back but they're honestly like so beautiful and I cannot believe 
Hopefully I'm so lucky to have gotten them. Let me tell you all of these are gonna have a place on my new Dark Artifices shelf once I get more bookshelves. But I was lucky enough to get dual copies of all of these Shadowhunters related items I just showed you. So I am going to be doing a giveaway for the Wild Hunt poster as well as the Rune Pins and the Lord of Shadows cards. And I might have another special little item on there. So I will be announcing that giveaway soon. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Emma Books. Like my username if you'd like to enter. But that really completes my book haul for BEA of 2017. I had an amazing weekend. I got so many great items, books, swag, everything I could have possibly imagined. Let me know in the comments below what is your release in here that you are most excited to read because I know I have some super super great books for me planned out for the next few months of reading. But that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon for a new video. Bye!